Okay, ladybugs, here's another one by Maya Angelou. We wear the mask. Here we go. I have uh, written a poem for a woman who rides a bus in New York City. She's a maid. She has two shopping bags. When the bus stops abruptly, she laughs. If the bus stops slowly, she laughs. If the bus picks up someone, she laughs. If the bus misses someone, she <laughs> So I watched her for about nine months. I thought, mm, uh-huh. Now, if you don't know black features, you may think she's laughing. But she wasn't laughing. She was simply extending her lips and making a sound. <laughs> I said, oh, I see. That's that survival apparatus. Now, let me write about that to honor this woman who helps us to survive. By her very survival, Miss Rosie, through your destruction, I stand up. So I used the poem with Mr. Paul Lawrence Dunbar's poem, Masks, and my own poem for old black men. Mr. Dunbar wrote Masks in 1892. We wear the mask that grins and lies. It shades our cheeks and hides our eyes. This debt we pay to human guile. With torn and bleeding hearts, we smile and mouth with myriad subtleties. Why should the world be overwise in counting all our tears and sighs? Nay, let them only see us while we wear the mask. We smile, but oh my God, our tears to thee from tortured souls arise, and we sing. Hey, baby, man, we sing. Hey, but oh, the clay is vile beneath our feet and long the mile. But let the world think otherwise. We wear the mask. When I think about myself, <laughs> I almost laugh myself to death. My life has been one great big joke, a dance that's walked, a song was spoke. I laugh so hard, <laughs> I almost choke when I think about myself. Seventy years in these folks' world, the child I works for calls me girl. I say, <laughs> yes ma'am, for working's sake. I'm too proud to bend and too poor to break, so <laughs> I laugh. Until my stomach ache when I think about myself. My folks can make me split my side. I laugh so hard, <laughs> I nearly died. The tales they tell sound just like lying. They grow the fruit but eat the rind. <laughs> I laugh <laughs> until I start to cry when I think about myself and my folks, and the little children. <laughs> my fathers sit on benches. Their flesh count every plank. The slats leave dents of darkness deep in their withered flank, and they nod like broken candles, all waxed and burnt profound. They say, but sugar, it was our submission. That made your world go round. There in those pleated faces, I see the auction block, the chains and slavery's coffles, the whip and lash and stock. My father speak in voices that shred my fact and sound. They say, but sugar, it was our submission, and that made your world go round. They laughed to shield their cry. They shuffled through their dreams. They step and fetch the country and wrote the blues in screams. I understand their meaning. It could and did derive from living on the ledge of death. They kept my race alive by wearing the mask. <laughs> oh my God, powerful. Powerful. 
Y'all, I am shaking. I am in tears. That is such a powerful, powerful. Excuse me, y'all. I'm sorry. That is such a powerful, powerful poem. I read her works, like I said, when I was a young girl. And it has always touched my heart. But this poem brought her to tears. And you can find it on YouTube. But God bless her soul. I'm in tears at this moment. Because every word that she spoke touched my heart. So, I love my black people. I just don't like the things that we do to each other. You know, I just don't like it. I don't like it. I hate it when people criticize our youth, especially when they're not bothering you or anybody else. Leave these young girls and these young men alone. Let them grow into adulthood. If you want to tell them something, tell them something positive. Tell them something that will keep them out of harm's way. Death is a sure thing for everybody, and that's a price we all got to pay. So, ladybugs, I love you all, and I pray for you all. Good night, everybody. Peace out.